Hey, welcome back to another video of Pure Graphics. In today's video, I'll be talking about the Table 2 in Affinity Publisher. The tool is very important, but I believe not many people understand the tool very well. So, I'm not just explaining the tool, but how we use it to design a calendar. You can use this tool to design cash receipt, invoice, calendar, and many other cool things. So, but here in this video, I will use it to create a calendar. And I believe by the end of this video, you will understand the tool very well and master it. My name is Yahweh Cornelius, the CEO of Pure Graphics and Simply Code right here on YouTube. So with that being said, let's get started. If you want to use this tool, there are two ways you can select the tool. First, you can hit the T on your keyboard. You can hit it. Maybe when you hit it the first time, you see the text tool. And when you hit the second time, you see the text frame tool. And when you hit for the third time, you see the typo tool. That is the first way you can select it. Another way you can select the tool, you can go to the tool menu here and select it here directly. So, before we go further with the tool, let's design our calendar first before we come back to this. So, let's start by selecting the rectangle tool and creating a shape here. Okay, let's hit the eyedropper tool and choose this color here. And after that, I'll duplicate it by hitting Ctrl J, then bring this down here, and then Ctrl I for the eyedropper tool and select this color here. And after that, I will hit Ctrl J again to duplicate, and then hold this here and bring it down. And then again, the eyedropper tool and select this color here. Okay, now let's close this here. Okay, now let's add a gradient here this way. Yeah, I think that's okay. Now, next, I will duplicate this black rectangle here and take it up a little and then again the eyedropper and select this color and then next I will form a curve here by selecting the most important tool in every graphic design software that's the pen tool Let's remove the outline. I drop her this color here. Now let's add a gradient there too. Now let's take it down. Select this color down here. And after that, I'll copy it to this other side. Let's take this back. Here, oh, will we convert this to curve and then again select hit the pen tool and take it up from here? Yeah, I believe that's okay. Let's darken this up a little bit.
Okay, now we have finished we have finished designing our calendar. So now let's go back to the table two to create a calendar body. Oh well before we do that let's add some text. So I will select the text two and here I will type the base. November. Let's change the fonts to Avenue. Twenty twenty no twenty twenty three. Let's remove the fee here and give it outline. Okay, now let's start using the table 2 once again. Select the table 2. And when you select the table 2 and start drawing, when you click and draw down, you see the the columns increases. And when you when you, you go the rows increases. But when you leave it, when you leave it and you want to add the rows or decrease them or add the columns or decrease them you come to these up and down keys here and click when you click you see another up and down keys here you can click to increase or click the down one to decrease or you can simply click in here and use your mouse wheel to increase or, de or decrease but right here i want like five columns so i believe that's okay for me for now But let's let's make it a single column because we will design our month first. Or again, you can come to this place, click here, and increase the the rows as well. I need seven of them. I think that's okay. Okay. Now let's bring it here. Let's bring it here and center it. Mm -hmm. Now, now there are things, other things we can do with the table tool. There are other ways to manage the table tool. When you click here, you select the outlines on the rectangle. And when you click, hold shift and click here, you select the outlines on the rows. Or you can hit these letters here to select the outlines, the outline rows. You select the outline, the, the, the rows outline. You select the rows and the outline. When you hit the side, you select the the columns and the outline. So right here, I've selected the columns and the outlines, and I want to remove them. So what I will do is I will simply go to this character here and go to this. Uh, uh, outline style here and remove it. Now the outlines, the columns outlines are gone. So one other cool thing I can do with this table too, I can hit, I can click here and then come to this place and say center vertically. Okay, before I do that, let me type first. Let me first type inside so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to type Monday here. 
and Tuesday here. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Now you can see that this text is not centered. It's not centered vertically and it's not centered horizontally. So what we'll do is we we'll just select here and when we select there we'll come to this place and say center vertically. Now you can see that the text is sitting is centered vertically. Or you come to this place and say align center. Now you can see that the text is aligned in the center. You can come to this place and change the 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 font size, the font type, and then the font size also. And you send the, you change the, the the font to either bold or black or heavy or whatever. Here I'm using the heavy. I'm using heavy. Then you come up here and change the color of your text. Okay. Now we can hit. We can select the. We can select this uh, row outline and change their color as well to do that to do that let's hit uh, let's select this one here and then hold shift and select the last one there to select all of them and change the color to white and then let's say we increase the outline to one yeah I believe that's okay let's increase it a little bit and head to the, the body of our calendar. So we start designing the body by copying this down. And after that, we double click and add columns down here. Make it, I think, five will be okay. I think five will be okay. Okay, here now we'll remove this outlines here and make them plain. Now everything is plain now. Let's drop the two and increase it down. Okay, now let's insert the numbers. January 2023 is starting on Sunday. So let's start our calendar. Let's start entering our calendar on Sunday. Meanwhile, we delete this. Let's delete all this. And start typing one here. Then two here. Three, four, I believe by now you understand the, the table two in Affinity Publisher and you have mastered it. If you don't, then you have to practice it on your own to master it. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's very important.